Hey everyone, I'm CC, and today I'm doing a support haul um, from the VIB Rouge sale. Uh, the VIB sale is today, so I thought we would um, get started and show you a few things that I picked up. Um, let's see. First, the Sarah Moon Velvet Lip Glide Collection. This is a really, I thought, a great deal. Um, most of the colors, if you can see here, are in the darker range, um, which is nice for fall, but um, kind of a stranger, not a very full range of colors. But I'm telling you, I love the formula. I have on this, um, this one right now, I think. And that color is called Unspeakable. It's a nice berry color. So that's something that I'm wearing today. I really like the formula. They go on, I feel like a lip balm. And uh, they stay on pretty well. They will eventually leave a little bit of a stain. Um, so it's great for a work day. But never really um, shrink up your lips like a liquid lipstick would. Um, continuing with lips, lip products, Mauvember. Oops. I'm filming this video on my iPad Pro, so we'll see. Um, beautiful color, has the mustache there for the Men's Health and 2016 on the back. Beautiful color, I really like this one. Um, I guess this is maybe the second year they've been out, I did not know that. And I also got the little lipstick tin from Bite Beauty of the Amuse Bouche which contained fig, pepper, honeycomb, and nori in the smaller size. And we can just compare real quick. This is fig, very pink. I swear I had fig before in the older formula, not as pink, but much larger size. Oops, sorry. <laughs> $26 for the full size, $25 for the four in the tin. That's that. Great little set. Um, I'll move on to blush because there's quite a bit of that as well. I picked up a couple of the Clinique. Um, cheek pops, which is a formula I like. I have a couple um, currently, but this is Black Honey, which is a newer shade. And um, one that I think is very wearable, and also Heather Pop. Um, similar in shade, Black Honey is deeper, but honestly, I feel like they go on the skin. Similarly, but I like them both. Um, I also picked up the NARS Sarah Moon, which this is not shutting for me all the way. And Isadora. It is the shade that has a bit, of, maybe they both do, because I was reading reviews online. But I think it's called a lavender um, color, which I don't feel like it's lavender, but it's got a blue shift to it. And I doubt because I don't have professional lighting that you're able to see it on my cheeks today. But it, it's got a glow, duochrome glow to it. Hmm, which I really like. Um, I also picked up the Becca Blushed with Light product. And this was a recommendation of Two Orchids. Um, I've seen this. I've seen it a million times. I was really interested in the new Wisteria color. I just got this shade in a little kit from Becca. And this color I wasn't all that interested in, although that's the only one I've worn so far and it looked nice. Um, but it's also shimmer. Wisteria is more of a matte. Uh, Snapdragon is very shimmery. Songbird is slightly shimmery. And Wisteria might be more of a satin. I don't think it's a matte. I don't know. But 
but that was the limited edition color. Beautiful packaging on this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Similar to the um, Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Collection um, from Becca. And so far, I really like it. I really haven't had a whole lot of Becca blushes except for the Jaclyn Hill and that Snapdragon color. I also picked up, NARS is a brand, I'll be honest with you, I haven't had much, um, I've had Laguna Bronzer. Uh, I am currently using an eye primer sample, but it's nice. Um, I've had the lip, lip pencils from Sephora's birthday gift. Um, and I just got the Goulage um, blush that was a VIB Rouge sample. That doesn't shut either. Recently. Um, but I haven't had a whole lot. Like, I don't think I've ever had a NARS eyeshadow. Um, but this palette is really nice. Comes with the Laguna Bronzer, Contour and Highlight, and Paloma. Um, and then one, two, three, and goulage br blush. <laughs> of course, it would have to have the goulage because they actually gave me two of those. Um, but I've used all the blushes except this one. This one I'm very interested in because I love the orchid tones. It's just probably use that um, in the spring. Um, the contour is nice. Really nice palette. Um, I think it's worth the money and I think it's uh, a nice little set. So there's that. Um, blush, okay. Next, skincare. I actually got two of these because I thought they were such a great deal. The Josie M Moran Argan Oil and Argan Oil Light. Um, I will use the Argan Oil in the winter and the light spring and summer. Um, although I don't see too much of a difference, I don't, I'm, I don't mind if I have one open at a different time, but their regular bottle is close to $50, um, and it's 1.7 ounces, I believe, and these are each a half an ounce for 18 so I got, I got two sets, I got two sets of those. Um, I also got the Josie Moran, I don't have a lot from her line. But I got the Whipped Mask Collection, Lavender Citrus, Sweet Citrus, Vanilla Apricot, Sweet Basil Mint, and Cucumber Aloe. And they're saying that you should use them um, like when you want creativity, freedom, courage, clarity, vitality, the different ones. So I'm excited to use those. I think it's beautiful packaging, beautiful presentation, gift. Um, from Philosophy, I got um, the Peppermint Stick Set, an 8-ounce shower gel, and a lip shine. I love their lip shines. Um, kind of always have one around. I used to really only wear those as my lip product, but uh, since YouTube came around, I found a lot more lip products I really love. And I also got this Glowing Days Ahead set from Philosophy. It has four ounces of each of their cleansers, which I use constantly. Um, and one ounce, which is a half size of their resurfacing peel, which is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, renewed Hope in a Jar and Renewed Hope in a Jar Night and Time in a Bottle, which is their serum. Love all these products. I use them all daily. Philosophy is uh, my the basis of my skincare. Obviously, I use some Josie Moran. Um, I like Origins Overnight Mask, which is something that I did not pick up, but I should have. I also got the Metal Matte Palette from Kat Von D. I have not dug into this yet, but it's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Can we see it all at once? I'm excited to use it. I think it's a year-round palette. I think it has some great colors. And I think it has mm, some slightly scary colors. But I'm excited to dig into that one, really, honestly. Um, at first, I wasn't going to get it. And I, I, I believe it was Emily Noel who talked me into it. 
much she also talked me into this because it was on her wish list. It's the Clinique Very Honey palette. And there you can see some things there. Some of my makeup drawers. Some nice neutral colors. A lot of the more burgundy tones. Um, a little bit of pink. Taupe. Some really great colors in there. And um, I have used it. I've created a nice look with it. I think it lasted really well on my eyes all day. I always use eye primer, so I'll say that. Um, but I think it was, I think it's really good, and it was $32.50, I believe. $32, something like that. Um, and one other thing I picked up a little bit ago, but I wanted to show you, is the Hourglass Ambient Surreal Lighting Edit. You will see that I have very, very pale skin. I'm not just saying that I'm fair. I am fair. Um, these colors work wonderfully on me. This blush I wasn't really excited about, but I thought that it would be great more now than this one. So I, this is the only product I haven't tried in here. And um, I think I think this blush looks gorgeous on. Like just soft and gorgeous, which I usually like, because I'm so fair, I think I like a little pop of color sometimes. And um, that looks really, really gorgeous. So these are the things that I picked up from the sale um, and I wanted to tell you about because I'd really like to start making videos. And I see that I'm here in the corner, in the corner. Um, but I really wanted to see if maybe you enjoyed my videos and um, what you'd like to see. If you'd like to see me create a look from one of those palettes, that would be great. Um, today my eye look is from the Tardis Pro palette and I've used this a few times. I've loved it every time except yesterday. And I know that Sephora doesn't carry this, but I'm going to bring it out real quick. Um, Tardis Pro. The look I created yesterday, I felt, was from this, this row right here, the browns, and, um, I've used this as a transition shade many times. It's called Innocent. But I, I felt things kind of got muddied up, and this gold shade called Erethal really wore away on my eyes and did not look good um and i probably only had it on six hours so i wasn't um real thrilled with that it was kind of sad um today i'm wearing a mix of these two rows um i also tried a different primer yesterday i used the eye primer from urban decay that was the anti-aging i had a sample um, so today I'm back to my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I'm going to see how they wear on, there, on that today. The liner is the Tartist Pro um, in the tube in Aubergine. It's from the holiday set. This isn't the color, but from Ulta with four minis in it. Um, whoops. And brows. Highlight everything else. Um, I see this is a little, um, a little glossy right there. Love the color though. Nice, nice, right on around the edges of my lips. I can fix that though. Feels like a balm on my lips, so which I really love. So anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope that I can bring you some more um, videos. Let me know what you thought. I know the lighting's not great. I know probably the filming quality is not that great. But I hope you enjoy spending a little bit of time with me and seeing what I picked up. So thank you.